Hi everybody! Today I'm going to open up my Kate Spade Wellesley Planner and show you guys how I have it set up. I'm going to be changing it tomorrow and I didn't want to wait to make this video until I could find my tripod because I'm really anxious to change my dividers and a couple of my inserts. But before I did, I just wanted to document the setup I have now because I'm kind of proud of it and Hopefully there are some people out there who enjoy watching other people's planner videos as much as I do. So this is what it looks like when it's open. The front is, I mean, it's really shiny because of the cover, but it's more of like a charcoal. There it is. It's like this charcoal color with some gold foiling. I got this in a little pack at Target in the dollar spot. It just had some grid paper in it and I took the cover off and use it as a dashboard now. I thought it was really cute. I like the idea of keeping things very clean and minimal which is actually why I'm going to be changing my divider soon. So I have I use this as a wallet and I have all of my <laughs> you can guess what state I'm in. I have all my cards, uh, my money back here, and uh, receipts, but I don't like them to be showing because if I have a color scheme going on, it's not even so much as I don't want the cards to show. I just don't want the colors to clash. So I just have it very simple. This um, is just some paper that I cut and trimmed the corners so that it matched the rest, the cards. <laughs> And here, okay, so I have my dashboard with the 2018 year at a glance. And here are the dividers that I made. So this first one, I basically keep my goals and monthly to-dos. I got these inserts from the planner spot. They were free. She has a lot of really nice um, free and printable and purchasable is that a word inserts so I just have these so I can keep them in mind and I am currently four months pregnant so this tab is dedicated specifically to information I guess I have all of my um, physician OB insurance information here of course covered up and that is my baby's brain my biggest accomplishment look at that beautiful it's beautiful to me <laughs> okay so the dividers that I am so proud of begin here so of course I've got that green one with the leaves and then I found this really nice paper at Michaels I just glued it because it was one-sided so I glued it together and then used some self laminating sheets to seal it here I have my December calendar, and like I said, I really like to keep things clean, but I still rely on this heavily for important dates. Um, I am in college, so I have my classes color-coordinated, and due dates are circled, just so that I know, I know what they are, and I have them detailed, actually, in my week at a glance. It's the one that came with Kate Spade. So I didn't have a lot going on this week. This is basically what I use it for, to keep track of my assignments. I really like to use sticky notes for tasks because anything that's not set in stone, I can just move around and I do actually move things around frequently. This is last month's and like I didn't actually start using it with pen for a while because I was nervous, but this setup works really well for me. I was using vertical for a long time and I really liked it. I liked having an hourly breakdown. I was using my law of attraction planner for most of this past year and it's a great tool. It's actually, I've bought it as a gift of like four times now and I've gotten great feedback. It's I've purchased like two for myself when I ran out of the first one, but something is drawing me back to this ring bound. It's just the freedom of being able to change things out and, you know, 
work without a spine or any kind of binding that's limiting in a way. So, and then back here I just have my monthlies for next year. Some extra sticky notes and stamps, post office stamps. I just got these and I've only used them, actually I haven't really used them. I was testing them. Um, the reason I got them was because while I do love stickers, I'm not crazy about the varying colors that they come in. Like, they're beautiful, and I especially love the gold and the light, soft pinks, but I'm just, I like things to be cohesive and simple. So, I got the black ink for the stamp so that I can just have everything be one color, and nothing will distract from my color coding for my student work. So anyways, that was my first tab. I use this to keep track of my week. The next tab is um, I use it for school. And uh, there I have my schedule, some books that I need for next semester. Um, here is just like an overview for my degree when I transfer back to my university. Um, my plans, I haven't really planned out the next few semesters, but knowing what I need, I can do so. And this is going to be my work schedule. Here, um, this tab is my Christmas tab. Only Christmas because it's the green one. And I want to... S oh. Um, that green means to buy. This is a green sticky note, so I know I need to spend money. Um, so I really wanted some cute inserts. Uh, like I know so much crafting has some really adorable ones. There's a ton on Etsy. And there's like... This one particular set that I was going to purchase, it was $6, and I just couldn't justify paying someone else to make an insert that I could just hand write, you know, a list. And it had all the good stuff, you know, like to do, to buy, the bucket list. Um, so, but I just ended up making that all myself. And this is a guest list for two parties, which I won't show. Here's my wish list in case anybody wants to buy me something. <laughs> And um, some gift ideas. These are some DIYs that I want to try. And then on the back, I have my actual chart of like gifts that I'm buying for people and addresses. So I'm not going to show those. And then this last tab, this one was a map of the United States, mostly the Southwest. Um, and basically, I keep this as a catch-all for lists. Um, lists that I want to store and archive that I'm working on and just brainstorming lists like books I need to finish, um, some ideas that I have for my art that I haven't actually come to fruition yet. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to be planning a baby shower. I picked a date. Baby is due in May, so I figured I'll definitely know the gender by then. I'm finding out actually at the end of this month. So this I use to kind of, it's like my working list section. So these are things that I want to buy, um, and I just have a ton of sticky notes, you know, so that I can easily jot things down and not feel a lot of pressure using my using my note pages or whatever scratch paper I have in here, even though I just have this grid paper. And then I have some of this list sticky note paper. I was using the post-it ones for a while and then I ran out. Ended up finding this at my Dollar Tree and they work just as good, so they come with a lot more too. So I'm really loving those. The last tab, I think I already showed, has like my monthly, 2008 pages and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna be changing out these dividers as beautiful as they are and as proud of them as I am I'm gonna be going for a more simple clean easy on the eyes look um, I found this really cute paper at Michaels it's just like this thick cardstock and there's gold it's like textured gold glitter bees 
I don't know. I just thought they were really cute. So I'm going to be cutting those down and punching them tomorrow. I wonder if the lamination will affect that gold. Either way, that's how I'm going to do it. So, yeah. Oh, and then I just, um, so I keep this for my budgeting purposes. It's a friction pen. I have one of every color, but this is the only one that I actually use. And I don't use it very often. I just use it um, pretty much on a, well, on a monthly basis. So I map out all of my bills, and these are mine. This is not just my bills. These are mine and my fiance's bills. It's so weird to say that. Um, and then I take them off when they're done. Not everything is due at the same time, but it's much easier to plan for the week of the bill. That way we know where the paycheck is going. My mom has used this system in her planner forever, and it seems to really work. So it's also easy on the eyes when everything is just here, you know. And then these are just like my doctor's appointments. I try to keep it really minimal. That is basically it. This is my tracker. I've been using this system for a really long time. Um, basically, <laughs> I know what these little symbols mean. Um, I'm sure you can surmise their representation. This one, which one? That means, did I spend a significant time outside? Did I spend, did I not spend money? Did I study, read? do yoga and meditate, drink enough water, and was I feeling happy? should always be feeling happy. So that is my rather quick video on my Kate Spade setup. I'm sorry if my camera is moving a lot. I'm looking at the planner as I'm filming and I'm not really paying attention to the angle. Yep. Um, I guess I'll, I might do a video on how it comes out, depending on how this video is received. Or maybe not. I'm just really proud of how it came out, so that's why I'm, so that's why I'm making it. Anyways, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And happy planning!